Hey there guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel, it's Full Time FM and I've just asked them to improve the training facilities uh, it looks like we're going to start that straight away and finish it on the 22nd of September uh, we've got an A- in manager performance to summarise the board uh, delighted with the leadership qualities you were demonstrating, which is awesome and then we go to finances and they've given me 41 million pound to spend or 40.85 million Whew, have a word have some of that um i'm gonna move a little bit of that towards wages um because i think we're gonna raise a bit of money and uh yeah we've got quite a few players who um will be joining us so minamino <coughs> Excuse me, Minamino. He joins from uh, Liverpool. Does he get confirmation of a 2.45 million cost of improving the training facilities? They're not going to improve the youth facilities, though. Or grant me more coaches, which I'm not happy about. So let's just discuss that. Um, oh, there you go. Now they've said yes. <laughs> what was the point in saying no? Uh, so we seal the Minamino deal. Uh, he's a winger. Mohamed Al Yunusi has gone back to Southampton. Uh, let's see what we've got this guy working on. That's quickness, maybe. Always quickness. Uh, position. Um, left midfield inverted winger support. I think I'm going to want him as. So he's a natural at playing on the right wing. We've already got Ferran Torres, so I think I want him as an inverted winger who attacks on the left. That's why I signed him. Then we got Rafina. And Rafina is going to be an attacking centre mid, so I'm happy with that. Um, you can see here dribbling, first touch, passing technique, work rate, all 16, left footed. He's going to be amazing. He's just going to be amazing. Um, Arezo. I'm going to send an intensive language course. Um, I'm going to ask McGregor to welcome him. Now there is a problem with Arezo. Um, he's widely tipped to be the next Fernando Morena. I have no idea who that is. Um, confident he'll get a work permit after the loan spell and provide value for money so he's not being allowed a work permit straight away but I've signed him anyhow um, for a pure simple reason um, I'm gonna loan him out and hopefully he'll come back to us uh, a better player so let's just put Matthias Arezzo off of the clubs Loan offer, pay 100% of his wages because we don't want him going to a terrible club. Uh, agreed playing time, regular starter, uh, preferred role, striker. Let's throw him on the, uh, on the list right there. Villa want Turnbull on loan. He could improve. But he'll only be a squad player there. If Bernie and money on a transfer. Hmm. Aston Villa can afford his wages. Surely. If they can't afford his wages, they're not having him. No, reject the offer. See you later. Richard Narty. Swansea and Derby want him. Elgin approach for coffee. There's only a young lad. We'll let him go out on loan, gain a bit of experience. We'll keep Ralston. Number of coaches increased. Thank God. Now I need to go get an attacking coach. Um, 
let's see, edit search, coaching, employed, no, attack, Erwin Vandenberg, yep, yeah, he'll do mate if you sign, I got you last time in the FM20, boom, done. So we've got an attacking coach now, thank God. Whereas they're all defending before. So. Two shirt sales. Minamino has joined. Uh, the club's sold 18,000 shirts so far this season. Commercial revenue... 3 million now with all this money you know I'm going to spend some of it <laughs> I have to um, so I've started with John Joe Kenny um, 8.5 million so let's see if I can get him on a 4 year deal boom done now John Joe Kenny uh, is a young 23 year old uh, right sided fullback. We already got Baba Rahman on the left. Uh, gonna have to pay 8.5 million for him, but stamina and determination 16. Uh, tackling 15, as is his crossing. So hopefully, he'll provide a few more. Uh, he's basically uh, an English Juan Miranda, uh, <laughs> but cheaper. Uh, at eight and a half million, because Juan Miranda's looking a bit expensive. The scouts rate him very highly. He'll be the second best defender. So um, we got Alhamed um, there as well, and we got Frimpong. Uh, so if we get Kenny, I think we can cash in on Alhamed, which brings our um, transfer budget into a better position. But first, we have the Rangers game. <laughs> so, um, focus play down the right hand side. Okay. Got some opposition instructions there. And, uh, alright, I think I'm going to go ooh, back to the squad here. Because this is where I normally pick my team from. Oh. Crap. Need to register players. Oh boy. Okie dokie. So, as we go to the. We have Barkas in goal. Frimpong, Blazic, Aya, and Rahman across the back. Brown and McGregor in midfield. Torres, Rogic, and Rodriguez playing behind Edward. Uh, we've got Rafina and Minamino on the bench. Uh, both of them need a bit of game time, so they'll definitely see. Uh, the field and against Rangers, we've got uh, Morelos, Kent, Roof, Arfield, Jack, Zungu, Barisic, Helander, Golson, Tavernier, and McGregor playing against us. Aribo, Haji, and Defoe uh, all on the bench, as is Jordan Jones. Let's see. Pump Fist is the only way to do it. And a uh, game with this magnitude looks like they're going to play a 4 1 2 3 and we're going to play a 4 2 3 1 there you go we're top of the table by four points two games in hand plus 52 goal difference rangers in second exactly where they should be <coughs> <laughs> that sounds a bit, you know, naughty about that. Um, let's see. Oh, boys. Boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Tavernier to Roof. Gives it back to Tavernier. Oh, back to Roof. Good block by Aya. Oh, no. Oh, get out. Tavernier puts it on the head of Kent. 
I don't care if it's the seventh minute of the game or not. They're getting berated for that. Oh my word. God. One nil down already. Against Rangers. This positive thing. Just go very attacking. What's a bloody assistant thinking about? <laughs> Bring me that manager editor tool. And I could put Brian Keady in as assistant manager already. Oh my word. I don't know when the manager editor's out for FM21 yet. Looks like it's a tight game. Both had three shots. Two on target. Fifty-two to forty-eight percent possession. Ayer and Frimpong both pick up cards within a minute of each other. Right, Baba Raman to Rogic gives it back to Baba Raman on touchline in the full-back area. He comes inside, gives it to Scott Brown in midfield, switches flanks out to Ferran Torres. He's got Frimpong there with him. Both from. Managing to keep hold of the ball. Ferran Torres comes in. Tries to switch to the flank. Finds Baba Rahman. Go on son. Oh. T uh, Tavernier. Dirty git. Right. Edwards will take penalty now. Come on Hudson. Eddie. 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 Go. 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 Go on son. French Eddie. 18th goal of the season for him already. Have some of that. Tavernier is rubbish at tackling. His game going forward's good, but not a good tackler. Right. Half time team talk's going to be important now. Okay. Okay, boys. Okay. Pump fist. Um. Give the fans the money's worth. There you go. They seem a bit motivated. Hmm. Come on, lads. Let's not have one of those games where it's boring. Come on. Right. Oh, hello. I was just about to take Rogic off. It is for him, Pong. Oh, Ryan Kent. Coming away with a ball. This does not look good. Blazic goes to meet him. Comes into the middle with Roof. We're getting men back, which is good. Oh, it's over the top. Edwards onto it. Oh, go on, son. Oh, McGregor makes a save. Right. I think Rafinha has to come on for Rogic. So we can have a little look what he can do. And I think we'll bring on Min Minamino for Rodri Rodriguez. And... Bring Olivia Sham on for McGregor, who looks a bit tired. Oh, come on, Barkas. Come on, son. Here's Ferran Torres on the right. Inside to Cham. Back to Frimpong on the right. Minamino, it's over the top of him, but he goes and retrieves it. Plays it back to Bavaraman. His cross is blocked. Cham picks it up. Crosses. Ferran Torres. Oh. McGregor with another save. So 
So Greg Taylor's come on for Baba Rahman on that left. Oh, come on, lads. Get stuck in. Come on. It's going to be a goal here. Don't concede it. Be the one who scores it. Here's Rafina. To Ferran Torres. Oh, he's done well there on the right hand side. Brown! Oh, oh God, I thought I was going to find its way into Edward. Oh, it's over the top. Defoe collects, gives it to Jones. Oh, get rid of it. Taylor does get rid of it, thank God. Fire up the entire team. It's too late. Ah, 1-1. One, one. We did not play well today. We did not play well at all. Ah, let's see what the media say, see what the fans say. I like the result. Could still be playing now and wouldn't have created anything. Awful stuff. Oh, hang on, that's the Rochdale one. I don't want to know about Rochdale. <laughs> what? Why is it showing me Accrington versus Rochdale? Oh, FM21, you're drunk. <laughs> Now, I have just signed Connor Barron for 150000 from Aberdeen. His stats don't look anywhere near FM20, but uh, we all know he improves. He's only 18. If I sign him now, in three years when he's better, um, I should suspect he'll be a homegrown qualifying player. Uh, Man United have offered us £12 million for Rogic. Uh, I've took the money and ran. He's got... Great uh, technicals, decent mentals, but his fi uh, physicals have been really poor and on the decline. And frankly, he's been quite injury prone. So United have come in for him and give us 12 million. Uh, of that, 20% of that goes to Central Coast Mariners, 2.4 million. Uh, this lad here, we're just going to let go because he's out of contract and... Doesn't look to be doing anything, Cameron Harper. Uh, he wanted to leave. There we go. Can't stop him when he want to go sometimes. And the other lad I signed is a 17-year-old centre-back from Dundee United. Uh, 1.3 million he cost. Um, he looks very, very good. Six foot two. Um... Tackling 14, passing 15, heading 12, dribbling 12. Uh, Lewis Nielsen um, says he only valued at 66 grand. That is ridiculous because he is a quality young player. And uh, I, I think we'll definitely benefit from him being in our youth squad and being one of those homegrown players that develops. Now, with youth players in mind, I've just signed another player from Dundee United, Nathan Cooney. Um, no nonsense, right back, tackling 14, marking, heading 13, six foot two, described as a young centre back, but obviously, um, best position as a right back. Okay, we got one or two players injured: Griffiths, Wilshire, Forrest are all injured. Uh, Nazis unregistered because he's leaving the club, I think, for Colin in Germany. Uh, Ralston's still not fit. Neither is Rafina, so they're left out. razor has got work permit problems. There's a bid coming for Andre Green, so it looks like he could be out. Uh, we are moving players on, which is good. Because I think we do need to. And, uh, yeah, should be, should be good to go. Now, I am looking for a big performance after that one. Um, let's pump the fist. Let's get him going. Look motivated. Yeah, we definitely need a better performance than last time. That Rangers game, not happy with that. 1-1. One, one. 
it wasn't a defeat, but it feels like a defeat. It was boring, and frankly, it's not the way Rangers Celtic derby games normally are. But hopefully, the new signings can bring a bit of uh, magic. That's why I brought in Minamino and Rafina. Offer us something a little bit special. Good header by Finley. Rodriguez gets on the end of that. Oh, tries playing Edward but can't. Yeah, so Minamino is going to be coming off the right hand side just to test whether that is his best position or not. Uh, got McGregor and Cham in midfield. Oh, Cham getting tackled by McPherson there. Oh, great tackle by Stuart Finley. Edward and Rodriguez. Oh my word, Jonathan Rodriguez just smashed goal of the season. Wow. Take a bow. Look at this. Finley with a tackle of the season. 1 2 with Edouard. Gets it out of his feet. 30 yards. Boom. Have some of that. Oh, that was filth. So we've got Laxalt at left back as well today. Uh, with his compatriot. Rodriguez at left wing. Here's Marius. Oh, Junior Mar Marius has scored. Wasn't Marius uh, a non-league player at some point? Oh, it's a stupid goal to concede that. Leo and played him through. Stuart Finley couldn't get back. What the hell Barkas was doing diving that way? I had no idea. He should have stayed on his feet. So Alhamed, Garay, Finley and Laxalt at the back. In front of Barkas. I just wonder, are we... Yeah. We're still using the Rangers tactics of being positive when quite frankly we should be very attacking against this lot. Right, now we'll see some extra going forward, hopefully. Here's Turnbull. Oh, puts it on Edward's head. Yeah, I'm playing David Turnbull in that number 10 role today. As Rogic has gone, we've got Rafina to play that position. But Turnbull as a backup. Rodriguez gets on the end of uh, Turnbull's free kick. Sadly, nothing comes of it. Here's Rodriguez down at left hand side. He's a top player, Jonathan Rodriguez. One and a half million. What a bargain. Here's Diego Laxalt crossing. Oh, Minimino brings a save from the keeper. Rodriguez back to Laxalt. Whips one in. And it's bounced away. Oh, Rodriguez to Edward. Oh, clinical. Absolute clinical. Them two are linking up really well. 19th goal of the season for Edward. I think Rodriguez got 12 or 13 now. Rodriguez coming in on that left hand side as an inside forward who attacks. He is lethal. Here's Rodriguez to McGregor. Feeds an Alhamed. Oh, he's at the crossbar. Oh. Still 2 1. We do look as though we're playing a lot better now. There's a lot more sevens up there. Just Cham, who's got a 6.8. That could improve. Right. One of the gripes I have about this game is that when you go to shouts, sometimes it doesn't allow you to shout um, at all. I mean, here it'll let me praise the team. Oh, he's fouled. Turnbull's fouled, and he's going to take a penalty. He's took it off Edward. 
Oh, you pillock. Right. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Right, so Soko's coming on for him. <laughs> I cannot believe he just took a penalty off Odson Edward. Absolute pillock. To me, straight away, that is just substitution all day long. <laughs> so, Mikey Johnston and Sissoko are coming on. As well as Behrens. Um, I'm still going to praise the players because I want them to... Oh dear, it's McAllister. Irwin. Oh, good save by Barkas. I want them to do well. I do think we need to... Uh, Possibly go to assistant manager instructions. Good header out by Garay. Ooh. Good tackle by Laxalt. Get up McAllister, you diving little sod. Right. Opposition. Ask the assistant. Confirm those changes. See, that used to be up here, um, where that was easier to do. Now you've got to go on to a whole new screen uh, to ask the assistant to make changes. Here's Minamino, anyway, coming in off the right-hand side. A couple of step-overs. Plays Johnston through. Oh, Mikey Johnston. Puts it away. That's why I'm a god-king emperor football manager right there. And... Uh, I've made three subs, and I'm sure I'm allowed five. It looks like it doesn't want to let me make a fourth or fifth. Alright. Come on. Why won't you let me do it? I'm allowed five subs. I know I'm allowed five subs. You've only allowed me three. There's been Sissoko, Behrens... And Johnston. They're the three that I've made. This is ridiculous. It's not allowing me to make my other subs. Oof. Good play by Edward linking up with Johnston. I wonder if I go this way. Um, see, I've made three subs there, right? So, technically, I should be able to make Y. If you allowed five subs in the game, why is it only allowing me three? Why is it allowing me five in some games and not in others? I don't get it. I don't understand. And it's a league game. FM21 is still broke. Oh, Jesus. Dylan Connolly just smashed one. Oh, my God. I thought Rodriguez might have hit goal this season, but this might be it instead. Oh, my word. Wow. 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 Bloody postman always knocking when you don't want him to. <laughs> so, Jam puts one in. Don't even know I've got football managers to play. How dare they? Oh boy, do not concede now. Here's McCaw crossing. Laxalt's the only one in there, so... Finds Sissoko, finds Edward. Go on. Oh. Thought that could have been it then. I'm going to fire him up. Here's Cham playing in Sissoko. Back to Finley. 
Like so, don't go back to the keeper. Don't go back to the keeper. Do me heading. Oh, don't give it away either. Oh, who's that Connolly guy? Good tackle, Sissoko. Here's Johnston. Oh, Edward didn't read it. Miscommunication. How I'd love to make some subs now. Here's Minimino. Oh, no one running in there. The fact I cannot make a sub or shout right now is annoying. Oh, tackle him. No! Oh, you git! You horrible, horrible little... Ah! God damn it! Oh, I'm not happy with that. You knew it was coming though. You just knew it was coming. Straight from kickoff. Here we go. And Sissoko carrying it forward. Go on, lad. Oh, you, he's giving it away to that Connolly guy again. Don't bother. Don't even bother. Oh, you dirty git. You dirty, dirty git. I cannot believe they've just done that. I, I don't even. Can I please just. Oh, okay. Just made a few changes. So we've got Minimino, Sissoko, and Edward up top in a three. Johnston playing behind them. We've got El Hamed and Laxalt gone to wing backs. Ah. Oh. Last five minutes, it didn't do a thing. Oh dear, that's the board. You hear that? That's the board calling me to let me know I'm getting fired. Oh crap. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to answer it. I cannot believe we've just lost to St. Johnston. I don't even. 4 3, it's ridiculous. And they're still showing me. Rochdale versus Accrington. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it broke? Oh my word. It's St. Mirren. Not St. Johnson, St. Mirren. 4-3. It's no wonder we lost. I didn't even know what bleeding team we were playing. <laughs> Christ. Oh. Right, I'm going to sell David Turnbull for that because he took a penalty off Edward and he's a pillock. Um, <laughs> Garay is going to sign for a racing club, I think in Argentina when his contract's up. Brown future still unclear as uh, he rejects contracts from Braga and Burnley. And we did sign a young centre back um, who is from Southampton. Uh, Nigerian uh, youth international. Six foot five. Pace, jumping reach, acceleration 14. Marking, tackling 16. We're going to throw him into the reserve, see if that helps. Um, he'll join us at the end of the season. On a free transfer. So I've just asked the board to expand the stadium. Um, they said no. And then I asked them to fulfil the demand for tickets. Uh, now they've just said yes. Um, which is good. Um, and one other signing that I've just made. Mohamed I. Hataran. Uh, his work permit's been agreed. There you go. 9.5 million as we plan to expand the stadium for 50.9 million um, it'll have a provisional capacity of 68,498 okay 
Um, let's see. Let's have a little look at Mohamed I Hatteran. First touch 16, technique 17. Um, attacking right midfielder, but we all know he can play through the middle uh, where he's a natural. Um, he's going to be David Turnbull's replacement. He's younger, he's better, he's a wonder kid. I think he's got more about him. Uh, he's played 43 games for PSV at this point, scoring three goals. And let's see, where is he? Turnbull. There you go. He wanted a payoff for 25 and a half grand, cheeky sod. So, if any you made an offer that rises to 1.6 million, frankly, good riddance. He's not great uh, physically. Tried to improve him with a quickness. Doesn't work. Passing, penalty taking, technique are all pretty good. So is his determination and flair. You know, first touch, free kicks and long shots and finishing quite good. Um, he's only 21, but I just can't see these physicals developing. And regardless how good he is on the ball, you know, off the ball, he's, uh, he's just not good enough. And I don't think he's going to improve in my book. Um... So I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, record signing. There you go. So, discuss new traits. Um, try long shots. Any suggestions? Switch the ball to the opposite flank. Okay. And I think we'll get him working on shooting. There you go. And... Oh boy, rumours circulating at Celtic Park set for expansion. Can you perhaps shed some light on your current relationship with the owner? i better do this. I have a great relationship with him. Thank you. <laughs> he was just on the phone to me, telling me that defeat against St Mirren is not good enough. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely keep the owner sweet. Um... Reece Staunton, Bradford City, 19-year-old centre-back, decent young player, 2.2 to 4.4. Loren, compensation, zero, striker, 66 recommended, would be a very good signing. Um, let's have a look at him. Is he out of, he's out of contract so he scored 92 goals in 248 games 2 in 14 this year 10 in 36 last year now nah, we'll leave him how old is he 27 I mean he could be a player we sign and then flip but I don't know Marco Levea attacking midfielder on a free 72 would be a good signing be a leading Scottish Premiership player ok let's have another look attacking centre mid 3.5 stars 29 and 92 there so 15 and a quarter million he's wanted by Nice So he'd want forty-two and a half grand a week. No. <laughs> Vico from Granada. Uh twenty-six year old winger, no thanks. So I'm getting quite a few um free transfer um signings and I've made a few. Here's Ben Davis. He'll join us at the end of the season. Um strong centre back left footed uh, worth 1.3 million would be a good signing tackling 14 and first touch 14 and then heading marking passing technique 13 good physicals between 12 and 14 uh, decent mentals as well be a good squad player I think he'll do bits for us and then we look at Kevin Long from uh, Burnley Six foot two, big strong centre half. Um, 
again, you know, he's worth two and a half million. He'll be joining us. Uh, 17 strength, stamina and jumping reach 16, aggression 17, heading 16, marking 13, tackling 14. Looks a player. Um, really good player for us. Did play for Rochdale on loan, 16 games, there you go. And he did get a goal or two actually, so that's wrong. And then we got John Joe Kenny join us. And he should be joining us any day, hopefully, for eight and a half million. So the squad is improving. You know, I'm quite happy with that. Then I picked up Arnau Pumel, who is a young Spanish um, player from Manchester United. A young centre mid. Um, just one for the development team. He's on a free. Uh, then there's Joshua King from Bournemouth. He's on a free at the end of the season. He could play on the wing or as a forward. And you look at his pace and acceleration 18, fitness 16, um, finishing 14, dribbling 15. He's worth six, mil six million quid as well. So to get him on a free, I think he's really good business. Demarai Gray, 2.8 million, a right winger um, who plays on the left as well. So, he's a natural on the right. Also on the left. Uh, he's valued at 10 million. Um, listed for 2.8 million. There's a few players I want him at the end of the contract. I want him now. <laughs> so, he's a very decent player. Um, there's a couple of staff roles we've offered there. So... I've done a little bit of business trying to improve us. I've done a little bit. I think come the end of January, we're going to look an absolute team. Um, like a proper beast of a team uh, that could probably do well in the Premier League. Never mind the Scottish Premier League because the SPL isn't as good as the EPL. But I, I think this Celtic team we're building could be better. Um and will be better by the end of it so stick with us thanks for watching sorry about the crappy results can't all be golden can't win them all um let's see what's going on here campbell <laughs> dick campbell uh questions about match livingston all oh, right it's not about us oh hang on what do you think about celtic breaking their club record to sign Mohamed Ayato and he said I think we should be all be worried about potential long term damage to these type of deals that they'll have in the game in this country he's worried uh, spending will spiral out of control I mean we spent 9 million on Edouard from Paris Saint Germain then we spent 9.5 million to PSV to get um, Ayato on I don't think that's bad me I don't you know I think it's alright So, a few of these players probably go out on loan. How can I praise this training? Look at that. It, it looks as though he's dropped a few. So, some of the advice I'm getting here is not great. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's be positive. Got a couple of his, um, games against the Burnian coming up. Uh, we've managed to get Rogic out for 12 million and sign Ihataran for 9.5 million. That I think is good business. We sealed the deal for Matthias Arezzo and Lewis Nielsen. 3 million for the pair of them. I think, again, that's good business. Um, 7 in, 2 out, but there will be some players um, leaving. Obviously, you can see there Minamino, Rafina, Ihataran will definitely improve us. Uh, Cooney, Nielsen, Barron um, and Arezzo for the future so I, I think I've done alright I think I've done little bits there and let's hope that improves us oh god El Hamad's injured right I will see you all in the next one thanks very much for subscribing I'll see you soon see you tomorrow